investigation. I believe my client did show some remorse. He had a mask on, um, but he did. He's not happy at all. He absolutely did show remorse. Good evening, friends. I'm Elizabeth Val. My partner Greg is out tonight. We start with the WAFBI team after the man who killed a panhandler outside Trader Joe's has learned his fate. Lead investigator Scotty Hunter is here now to break down the sentence. Scotty. Well, Liz, this man, Chase Boyd, will now spend 18 months behind bars. But the I-team has learned he could spend even less time than that in prison. The sentence came down from the judge just hours ago. Now, this comes about two months after he was convicted on manslaughter charges for the 2020 deadly shooting of Danny Buckley. Boyd gunned down Buckley after confronting the man who was begging for money in the parking lot of Trader Joe's on Perkins Road. As part of that conviction, Boyd could have faced up to 40 years in prison, but the judge decided on the 18 months, saying that Boyd had no prior convictions and was cooperative with the investigation. Boyd's attorney says it's the best possible outcome given the conviction, but he says there are no winners in a case like this. My heart goes out to them. I mean, a man, a man died. Uh, we heard the victim impact statements today. They were moving. Um, very, very sorry. In a situation like this, turn from that view, there's no winner. Uh, Mr. Buckley had a family, had children, had grandchildren, uh, and he is no more. And that is very sad. And, he, and, and again, even the judge said, you can't bring him back. Now, District Attorney Hiller Moore weighed in, telling us he respectfully disagrees with the sentencing, saying that prosecutors feel that based on the facts and circumstances from the trial, a longer period of incarceration was warranted. He adds that the defendant has shown no remorse for his actions. Now, Boyd has already started serving his time behind bars. We're told he's been behind bars since he was convicted and spent about 30 days behind bars when he was initially arrested. So it's possible he could actually serve less than a year in prison based on the time he's already served. Liz? Scotty Hunter for us tonight. Thank you. An update on some breaking news we brought you at five. We're told the person shot earlier.